Hello. Yo, they call me one and only young girl. Hey, give me some of you guys. Call them for no city so police. Turn up. I found solace in music from an early start, from like church to you learn how to play the drums in the choir. I grew up in a single parent home. Shout out to my mom who played both roles as my dad and my mom. I'm Mrs. Obiageli Omenya, young girl's mom. I was I say Aota Balefi. You know, young girl is my last uh, child. He has been a very sweet boy. Every drum, every container in my house, every basin, it was drum for him. With his friends, every time they gather in front of our house, is to be drum. This one be bingy. This one, this one beating this one. You know. The keyboardist in the church, we started making music together with um, the keyboard and put it on a diskette. So the only studio actually then, which was affordable to work in, was um, Inner Hub, which happens to be Pastor Bala and MI Studio. So that's how I even met Emma in the first place. He's, he's into it. He has sold himself out to music, so there's nothing anybody can do about it. He can't say no to me for anything, but in this music thing, we use a stylish way to say, Mommy, don't bother yourself, music. No, so I love him to go. I'm originally not from Josh Plateau State, so I'm, I'm lucky to have that kind of love from J-Town, you know? That's why J-Town always my first love, because um, I found music there, I found, you know, a family there. So whenever I'm in Joss, it's like home. So yeah, big up to the city, man, J-Town for life. We are almost fighting physically to live. You know, he was doing uh, medicine, year one, year two, year three, but each time, the result was wonderful, very intelligent boy. But he'll be telling you, mommy, if I finish this now, I will not practice it. I say, don't worry, when you finish, give me the certificate. Then I can buy drum and give you, then you start beating drum. A couple of years back, which is like four or five years ago, I moved to Lagos and um, crazy, man. Because I can say my career started out as um, an artist and we moved to Lagos, started being like backup artist for Ice Prince for like a year or two before I dropped my first single, Red Rose. From their fever to SOS, and you know, I mean, the story continues. But um, I can say my journey from Joss to Lagos was, was the scariest, man. I think 2016 was the saddest year of my life, man. Like, I was frustrated and depressed. And um, I actually woke up one day and I posted on my Twitter that I'm done in music after I dropped the album, which was meant to be out last year, actually. That after I dropped the album, I'm done. And I was for real. I remember I had a fight with Chopsticks that day because I didn't even inform him. So he saw it on Twitter and was like, fam, are you for real? And I was like, yeah, man, that's how I felt. So moving from then to now, which 2017, I say, has been my best year musically, I can say it's only been the hand of God, which, you know what I mean, who I believe in 100%, because I definitely wanted to quit, so... So twenty seventeen was the year where, you know, I mean I graduated from school. I started serving my country, um, did some international collaborations, Nicki Minaj, Major Lazer, got signed to Chocolate City, put it on my album. You know what I mean? Like, so many things happened this year. And, um, yeah. Mm, I feel very proud of him now, because if he has entered and failed, it will be worse. For him, he must go back to university. But he's succeeding, so I'm happy. He's doing what he wants to do, and he's giving him joy. I think that's, that's how I can even say it comes together with the title of my album. That even though it took so long to get here, it's like, you know, it's better late than never. 
it's like it's better it actually happened than it not happening at all. So, yeah, man, this is better than never. I say it's better late than never, the takeoff. Well, I'm happy with him. And I give him my blessings. And my prayer is that he will go higher. Let him go higher and make his name be known nationally, internationally, in this music. What is worth doing is worth doing well. This is the start of a, a new era. So yeah, man, get ready. Mr. Manny say that. Oh.